Hi, I'm Astamore, and today I'll show you one of my favorite combo exercises. I love combo exercises because they allow you to combine several techniques or several fields into one exercise. Uh, usually exercises are very focused. They stay on topics like your right hand technique, your left hand technique, or scales, or harmony, or sight reading. I have to combine sort of all of those things into one single exercise. So in this exercise, we're going to be playing scales, but we're going to be playing scales in a nonlinear fashion. Uh, what this means is we're going to be playing them one note, one degree per string. Um, I haven't seen this exercise done by anyone else, uh, so I'm going to say that I invented it. So for this video, I'm going to use the Mixolydian scale. And let me remind you what it looks like. And the degrees are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7. 1, 2, 3, and 4. But we're going to just call the flat 7 degree the 7th degree, <clears throat> because it is the 7th note in the Mixolydian scale. Uh, and so here's how we're going to be playing our scale. We're going to be playing the root on the 6th string, or on the lowest string of your instrument. And then we're going to skip, or rather jump, onto the next string and play the 5th degree. And then we're going to jump to the next string and play the 7th degree, the flat 7th. Then we're going to jump into the next string and play the 4, the next string, the 6, and the next string, the 3rd, and then go back. 6, 4, 7, 5, and 1. While doing this exercise, it's a good idea to call out or just mentally pronounce the degrees that you're playing go like this. 1, 5, 7, 4, 6, 3, 6, 4, 7, 5, 1. But while doing this, you're going to be looking at the fingerboard. So you actually can visualize and remember where the degrees are. So this is the left hand, or the fingering hand. The right hand, or the plucking hand, is going to be using the alternating fingering technique, which means that both going up and down, you're going to be using your fingers one, two, one, two, one, two, and no raking. So you don't want to do this. So next, still staying in the same uh, Mixolydian scale in the same position, we're going to be doing the same thing but starting with the second degree. This is going to go like this. Two, and then the next string, four, Next string, one, next string, three, seven, two, and then back, seven, three, one, four, and two. Then we're going to shift and start from the same second degree, but in another, another position. So we're going to be playing the two, next string, six, Next string, one, five, seven, four, seven, five, one, six, two. And then finally, we're going to start with a third degree. And we're going to be going three, five, two, four, one, three, three, I'm sorry, three, one, four, two, and then back to three. Now this pattern can be applied to any scale and should be applied to any scale. Practice this, uh, practice this with all the scales and move up and down the neck. Okay, so here's the close-up of the fretting hand. Uh, let me slow it down for you. One, five, Seven, four, six, three, six, four, seven, five, one. One more 
my time. One, five, seven, four, six, three, six, four, seven, five, and then one. Here's the same position starting with the second degree. Two, four, one, three, seven, two, seven, three, one, four, two. Here's the second position starting with the second degree. Two, six, one, five, seven, four, seven, five, one, six, two. Here's the same position starting with the third degree. Here's the close-up of the plucking hand. Remember to alternate your fingers. Well, I hope this exercise was really helpful, and stay tuned for more. You will never tire of me, for I always have something new to offer. Oh, and by the way, I'm on Twitter now, so sign up with it and tweet the heck out of my channel. It's twitter.com slash A-S-T-A-M-O-R-E. See you there.